Hello. I decided that I would do bonus videos for the top three signs for the month. I thought it would be fun to do a, a bonus video to show my appreciation. And this first video will be for Capricorn. Let's see. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. So the Eight of Swords is not knowing which direction to go in, not being able to see, not being able to make clear choices. So since it's reversed, that means that your blindfold is off and you know which way you wanna go. This means being feeling restricted and being oh, withdrawn by fear. All right, and this one fell on the floor. So that is being restricted and withdrawn by fear, but because it's reversed, it's saying that you're not. It's the opposite of, of what it says upright. So you feel confident, you know what direction you wanna go in you know where you want to be. And then this one, the Five of Pentacles, is temporary hardship, but it came up upside down, so that means that you're not having temporary hardship, that you're not having that anymore. And I'm a Capricorn, so I personally can relate to this because I, so many years I felt that I didn't know where I was going, I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't know what direction I was going in, I always felt like things were against me. So it's really cool to see that these cards are coming in, but they're coming in upside down. Meaning I'm not, or you as a Capricorn, or if you're cross-watching, that the Capricorn is not feeling withdrawn, being, afraid to move forward in a you know temporary hardship in a, in a hard place I really feel and definitely by your comments from the February video that other Capricorns are feeling that they are breaking out of that shell of the feeling like things are always against them and the uphill battle so Others feel like they're breaking out of that. I, I, I definitely feel like I am. We have the Prince of Swords. The Prince of Swords is somebody who takes action and moves forward. Forward movement. And that definitely, I feel like that relates to that because you're moving forward. You know what direction you want to go in. You're not restrained by fear. You're not worried about what's going to happen. You know where you want to go. Doesn't mean that you have all the answers, but it just means that you finally feel like you have a direction. Four of Pentacles, that's keeping things close. Maybe you know what direction you wanna go in, but you're not sharing that right now. So that's what that could be. The Alchemist, the Magician, that means that you can make things happen. And I feel like that definitely goes with this. You can make things happen. You can make your dreams come true. You can make your goals come true. This is the infinity sign up above that. And this means eternity, everlasting love, empowerment, limit, limitless, individual empowerment. And that's just basically my message that I was saying up above is that you know where you wanna go you know what you want to do. You may not be there yet. You know, this is a general reading. This isn't for everyone. But I, I kind of hope that it is for everyone to believe that you're coming out of that, that, that struggle, that negativity, and that you can make things happen. You can have some forward movement. You can 
he has his sword up and he's charging forward. Seven of Cups is having lots of emotional choices, lots of choices. Having lots of choices of what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to be, you know, how you want your life to be. All right. Maybe you have a few different ideas of what you want to do. You're not really sure which direction to go in, but you know that you want to move forward and you're not restricted by fear anymore. The tower. The tower is things just coming down, just breaking apart. Whatever used to be was built on a false foundation. Things need to come down in order to rebuild. On a stronger foundation turn that around just like this was turned around and that was turned around those were turned around we don't want to deal with that anymore judgment love it hear the call Hear the call to get out of this, to get out of that restriction, to get out of that feeling bound by fear. Hear the call to make things happen, individual empowerment. Hear the call, that tower, that old way of thinking, tear that down. All right? <clears throat> this is renewal, revival. Reward for past efforts. Karma, rebirth, leave the past behind. Break down that past. Move forward. Charge forward. Just like the Prince of Swords. Charge forward in a new direction that's positive. You can make it happen. There's lots of choices out there. Don't keep things all to yourself. Maybe share with others or... You know, if you have a lot of ideas, f figure that out before you start sharing. I love it. This is an amazing message. I love it. Very good. <coughs> There's a renewal. A renewal for Capricorn. You can make things happen. Tear down that old way of thinking. That old way of thinking was not good. That the negativity. Let's see. This is the tree. Let's see what I do with my book. Roots setting down. New roots, let's see. Health, longevity, put down roots to secure the future. That's what I'm saying, put down roots. New roots, tear down those old roots, dig out those old roots, that old way of thinking, the negativity. Put down new roots. The tree has the rainbow around it. New way of thinking. Don't be restricted by fear anymore. That one flipped over. That is number 33. That is the key. Let's see. Answers. Let's see. New beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings because you're tearing down the old ways, the old way of thinking, new beginnings, new beginnings. All right, let's see, let's pick one more. I just had the strong feeling yesterday and today, I'm like, I have to do Capricorn, I don't know, I just felt the strong pull to do Capricorn and now I see why. I feel like 
as me being a Capricorn, I feel like I need that I personally for myself, I'm not saying all Capricorns because we are strong, but I'm saying that I do like to hear that positive reinforcement. I like to hear that things are going to be okay, that, you know, that I need to push forward. Even though I do it anyways, but it definitely makes it easier to be able to hear that. And that's why I like the tarot. That's why I watched that for so many years. Was because I needed to hear that. And I, I heard those messages, you know. The readings were positive and I felt, alright, keep going, keep going, you can do it. And that's why I wanted to give back, is I wanted to help those that feel that, ugh, you know. And they need to hear that positive message. They need to hear that it's going to be okay. Even though you know inside that it's going to be okay, it's always nice, at least for me, to have that confirmation that yes, it will be. <laughs> and when you believe it, that's what makes it come to fruition, is having that positive energy around you. And that's what makes it, I believe, help to come true. So this is definitely a, a, a positive message. And this could be for any sign. You don't have to be for a Capricorn if you were drawn here. I feel like that that means that you need to hear this message also. To That don't be restricted by fear anymore. That you're moving out of those hard times. That you're charging forward. Like the Prince of Swords. You know, there's a renewal. There's a revival. This one just flipped over, so it could be with a, a a man. It could be in a relationship. You know, for those of you that maybe are in a relationship, that things, you know, aren't going well. Um, maybe that relationship was built on a false foundation, and that it really wasn't a good relationship for you, and that you need to move forward and leave the past behind you. And that there's other choices out there and maybe somebody new could be coming in your life maybe you've um, maybe you've had bad relationships in the past and that just wasn't working out but I feel like this is saying that moving forward that you know you you could find that new love this has a, a rose inside of the cage a key key opened up that cage you know maybe you've been closed off to love not letting anyone in and maybe there's, there's somebody new that comes into your life that has the key to open the door to you know make your heart blossom with love you know if that's if that's what you're looking for or this is, could be an individual empowerment that you know you're moving in the right direction that things are going to turn around for you that you're going to have lots of choices. You're going to be able to make it happen. Being like the magician that, that's going to make things happen. All right, I love this message, and I hope that you enjoyed that too. Um, love to hear your comments on what you think about this message. I'm so happy that I did it. Um, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.